Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Steph. That is Chris. These are our live friends, and welcome to the morning show. Now, look, it is beautifully cold Tuesday morning. Brr. Cold. And it's going to snow cold. today at about mm, lunchtime. Is that correct? Uh, so supposed to start tonight. It was supposed to start night. in about four, five, six hours ago, but I don't know if it did. I don't know if it did. <laughs> either. I have not looked outside I, yet. I haven't either. But I thought it was dumping it in at twelve today, snowing. So I am not a weatherman, so I'm not really worried about it. Now, last night we were live, and the thing that we did was we ended up doing a lot of chatting with uh, everybody online and not really getting the show out. So tonight we're going to do the show. After the show's over, we have a little after party. With our web people, we're gonna stay on for another 20, 25 Ooh. minutes and just get Hi, our buddy. get our uncensored. Listen to what Tracy from Houston and all her bad things have got to say, because she's always got something bad going on. I'm telling more people right here we're okay. live. You go ahead. You just, now, our yeah. first topic of the night. Stephanie's typing it in with everybody that's live right now or today. I just blew that. Is <laughs> the Undertaker from the WWE? Has first and second degree burns, and Stephanie, correct me if I'm wrong. Neck through yeah, his chest area. Neck and chest, and he was. Um, Royal Rumble was this last weekend, Sunday pay per view event. Stephanie read it. Stephanie, you want to tell him exactly kind of what happened? Was the pyro got it caught it got shot on him when he came out caught his coat on fire? Yeah, he um he has a huge entrance whenever he goes in. Uh, you know, whenever they say the name and all the lights and the fire and everything like that. Well, he was walking up to the stage, and while he was walking up to stage, one of the things caught... I, I don't know if it was just aimed wrong or what, but it aimed that fire right at him and caught his jacket on fire, and he, he still wrestled, though, didn't he? Yep, he took it off, and he got burned right here, and then he wrestled his match 30 minutes, and then... Now, you guys, you guys really understand that that is entertainment. And I know that I used, I loved it, dude. Mm. I loved it, and, and I, I, can, I can honestly say from being picked up, pressed over the head, thrown down onto what they called the, the mat, which was a springboard, it hurts. It, it hurts. And those dudes, that's why a lot of those dudes, they go through a lot of pain. I just don't know. They make a lot of money. So, let me ask you this. You're an actor. You do your own stunts. You get hurt. Do they keep acting or do they shut down production? Oh, they keep shut, they shut down production. <laughs> unless <Yeah>. it's us. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, land on your knee, whatever. <laughs> we don't shut going. it down. We don't shut it down. <clears throat> but, you know, it did happen on the set of a movie you worked on one time. Yes. Where the guy... Dark had to uh, do it. Dark shadows. I think it was called. No, uh, when shadows. When died. shadows die. Milos Sar- Sarvicha, whatever. You, if, if you look up in the bodybuilding world, the mind. Just type in the mind in bodybuilding. That's the guy. The guy that you see is the guy that was the, one of the stars of the movie, and I was supposed to double for him, and he said, "I can do my own stunt. I'll do it." An air ram. He put on his. We put on all the fire gel on him because he was going to get blown up. And he took his hands, and we saw him before he went, and he wiped off because the fire gel's freezing. Yeah. And he wiped it off, and when they did it, it blew up. The flame engulfed him. <gasps> oh, I think you And let me just say, he has had the best, best face peel because it, mm-hmm. it, three, it, it, it peeled all the skin off his face. But the doctor said it was the best thing that happened was it got all of it. That it all peeled off, but like he was. It didn't like get half. It happened, it was all or he'd have been scarred. Like yeah, he'd have been scarred. Now, <clears throat> what do we got in here? Anybody talking about the wrestling? Nope. Okay. Today. Today only. Today. From this morning, seven a.m. till ten p.m. at IHOP is what, Chris? National Pancake Day. Free. Free. Free pancakes. Free pancakes today. The only thing they want you to do is donate to the uh, Children's Miracle Network, but it's free pancakes today. Ain't but two things. Two things. I like to pour syrup on, and pancakes is one. One up. That's exactly Exactly. Right. I agree with you. So, what they're going to do is they're going to get you for more than the pancakes cost. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because, you, you know, 
You gonna Children donate? Children Miracle yeah, Network, man, donate. you gotta donate. Listen, we donated. Go to IHOP and get you some pancakes. Get us some pancakes. Get us some pancakes. Man, ain't nothing wrong with that right there. Tracy said she saw a fan video clip of The Undertaker getting burned, and she was like, yikes. Tracy, so, where, I don't where, know, I'll have to go look. Ask her where, oh, yes. where did you see that? Probably just YouTube. It won't let it, it won't let it go through. It won't let you send links. Tracy, can I send links? <laughs> Listen. <clears throat> Forgot the hell was I was gonna say. I don't know. If you were gonna say something about case. YouTube and I think you were gonna say something about the girl fight and the girl got her braces knocked <laughs> oh, out and you were yeah. about to talk about how many that views Megan talked to us about and how fast it goes. That was not it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was it? But they did have a fight at Midway High School. They put it on YouTube. As of today, they had 624 hits. And that was Friday. That was about 624 hits on the one tall girl hitting the little girl, knocked her braces off. Knocked oh her braces gosh. off her shoes. And, and me, bloodied her nose. Let me tell you. Let's just get into that as, as you are a parent. And your kids on YouTube. There you go. Now... And the fight was over. Now, this was serious. Now, I can understand why the fight was over. Two best friends got in a fight that one girl stole the other girl's man. If that ain't a cat fight, I don't know what's going to happen. Is that how all these girl <clears throat> fights start? But I, Let me tell you what I don't understand. Is you're just going to get made fun of. Yeah. Now, see, my daughter Megan filmed one, and these girls fought for a long time. And they, they, did, and yeah. they put it on MySpace or YouTube. And one of the sisters called and asked them to take it down, yeah. and they took it down. Ooh, that's a good fight, too. <clears throat> Ooh, that, yeah, that was. But, but as a parent, as one of the girls' parents, you feel bad. But what about all the idiots standing around cheering them on? I did that Saturday night like, at the you UFC. Wonder, <laughs> <laughs> and you but almost, they get for it. You almost kind of wonder how far those people would let it go. You know, the people that are standing around. Well, they stopped. When that girl did like this, and she felt her brace come off her tooth, and her tooth was loose, it all stopped. Because everybody was like, all right, enough's enough. But and, they were asking them, do y'all want to oh, stop? Yeah. Do y'all want to stop? And it was, it, it's just mind-boggling to me. It, it, it's put it this way. In my four years of high school in our little small town, there might have been a half a dozen fights. Yeah, there, there wasn't yeah. many. That wasn't because yeah. we were all friends. I'm going to go ahead and reply to Alyssa Milano and see if she'll join us live. See if she'll send us some uh, NFL gear. Over. Give me a second, please. Y'all keep oh, going. Oh, yeah, she's got great NFL gear for girls. For, for ladies. Uh, She'd fit me. How many of y'all <laughs> think it's going to snow today? I on, think, on the panel right here. I think it's going to snow. I do, too. I, 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 I don't think, think it's going to I think it's bad. going to because remember last time it wasn't supposed to, and right. it did. But this uh, time it's supposed to. Now, what gets me is we're always right on the line. Yeah. It's always really Waco are. North. Waco North. But it's already been snowing out in, in the west, so it, it's pro I, we haven't looked outside, but it's probably snow all over it's the ground. It's probably covered. Hey, are we, uh, what, what are we here? Are we Red Sea TV? Mm -hmm. If, I, if you go to Ustream, what would you type in? Yeah, if you go to the Red Sea TV and then there's two shows, choose the morning show. Um, <clears throat> it's always pain in the... It, somebody made a comment that it's always pain in the ass ice. And yeah, that's true. That's true. It's That's one thing about Texas is we usually get ice. Yeah, but then you think about our weather Sunday... And then I, I I know that we're we're supposed to be getting rain and snow to begin with, mm -hmm. and then it's supposed to, and then it even said you know big snow, like big snowflakes are supposed to be coming this well, afternoon. Well, I heard I heard that they changed that part. Oh, they did. Yeah, okay, I heard that they changed that part. Fair said they're calling it four to six inches. I call mine seven to nine. And, I agree. It's about four to six inches by how much it's supposed to be, Ferris, I think. Something about like that. Maybe, maybe seven inches. I don't know. It just is what angle. It just depends on what angle you, you look at the snow. All right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Saturday, what? Uh, the other Heather said that means the kids won't go to school. These, 